Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We have had a crazy week here at the shop. We got a shipment of a ton of new awesome tools. We got five new guitars in. We got a couple guitars out, but we're running out of space around here. So today we're going to be making a little space. I'm selling four guitars and today I'm going to be showing you those four guitars up close and personal, which will all be available at guitarguts.com in the guitars for sale section. I'll have links directly to each one of the guitars down below and they'll be available right when this episode drops. If it doesn't have a link next to it and it says sold, that's because it's sold. By the way, I'll have videos of all the guitar unboxings and the new tools and all that awesome stuff over on the second channel. So be sure to subscribe to the second channel. I'll have a link down in the description for that as well. These guitars that I'm going to be showing you today, three of them are from Traden. So I take Traden's when people want me to rebuild their guitar for them to be featured on Trash to Thrash. They can cut their cost down by trading in some of their old guitars, which I'll either trade off, sell, or rebuild and then sell. So if you guys see one of the guitars you want on here today and you want it rebuilt or you want it customized, of course I can do that too, but they might go fast. So you might want to buy it first and then send me the email after, but the answer is yes, I can do whatever mods you want to them. Three of these guitars today are from trade-ins and one of them is from my personal collection. So if you've been following along with some of the sagas we've had here on the channel, then you'll know one of the guitars that I've been wanting to pluck out of my personal collection and sell. But it might not be the one that you were expecting. It was the, not the Black Explorer. It's not the Black Explorer, but let me just show you. We'll start with that one. All right, the first guitar up is this awesome 1984 Epiphone Explorer reissue. It's probably a 2016 model, I think, in white. It's got chrome hardware. It's got a roller bridge on it. Let's actually, let's get a little closer with it. Check this thing out, because it is sweet. We got the headset pickups in black chrome. And then it's got chrome hardware, so chrome knobs, chrome strap button, and also I just restrung it and changed the battery, so, and actually oiled up the neck, so it's nice and dark and beautiful, polished it up, and the thing's in very good condition, I would say. So it's got a little bit of kind of uh, haziness here on part of the headstock, and there's a couple little small dings on it, which one of them is at the tip of the headstock. Then we got another one here on the horn on the back of the guitar, right on the back there. So you can see, I want to make sure everybody knows before they go buy it, what they're going to be buying. There's one chip there. I think that's the worst one. And then down on the corner here, we got another little, little ding, but it's not really a chip. It's like a, got like almost a little line in it. There's also a little bit of wear on the tunematic tailpiece. And on the back, the strap button has been relocated to the back. So there is a little hole on the side where the other, the stock one used to be. I would think maybe a mod somebody might want on this is like the 8160 set and the classic black EMG finish installed on it, or even the headstock repainted white. So it looks like the Hetfield one, maybe even throw some like, so what stickers or whatever. The idea behind this one was um, it came with the Chrome hardware, so it kind of looks more like the Ride the Lightning era Gibson Explorers, sort of, that James was playing before he started playing the ESPs. The tone on this thing is incredible. It's a monster. The big giant mahogany body resonates so great. It's a, a set neck guitar. And yeah, it's a great guitar. So link is down below if you want to buy it. There's actually none available on eBay or Reverb right now. So I was trying to find a comparable price for it. And... There's none for sale. And also on eBay, I couldn't find any in the recently sold listings. I think it goes back like 90 days. So apparently there's no other ones for sale right now. If you want it, it can be yours. The link is down in the description below. Now that thing is sweet, but we have another sweet white guitar here. Check this thing out. This is an LTD Arctic Arrow. So it's another one. This one actually I got in on a trade deal. Somebody is having me rebuild a really cool roads for them. And they sent me this one and one more that I'm going to be showing you in a minute. But yeah, this is a classic 2021. It's already a classic, ladies and gentlemen. The Arctic Arrow, super awesome. All white, so we got the white pickup ring, the white EMG 81, single humbucker. It's a string through, got the black hardware. Actually has the EMG kill switch. I'm not even sure if that's original on this guitar, but that's an EMG branded kill switch. Got that sweet LTD logo up there. Get a closer look at this thing because it really is an awesome guitar. This one I can restring for you. I haven't restrung it because I think it has pretty relatively new strings on it, but 
let me know if you do buy it what gauge you want on it and what tuning and we can get it reset up for you but yeah look at that headstock logo it's like a piece on top how sick is that i need to start making some of those when i redo ltds don't i no inlays and the frets are in excellent condition you can see how beautiful those are i should say the epiphone also had great frets on it too So this is kind of like a, I guess this is a, a flat white. It doesn't seem to have any real reflective sheen off it, like a satin. I think it would be called a flat white. And it is a neck through guitar. Or some type of LTD set neck, maybe. Built in Indonesia. Yeah, it comes with, um, I think these are what, DiMarzio strap locks. So I'll leave those on there for you. Unfortunately, neither of these two guitars have come with a case, so I have the original box though that it came in, so when it comes time to ship it, it's going to come properly packed in a LTD Aero box. It's 24 fret, and you might have to look up the specs on this, but it looks like these are glow-in-the-dark. Kind of have a greenish tint to them. But yeah, check that thing out. That is a sweet guitar. I considered keeping it for myself. I think I have another person who might be trading me another one of these Arctic arrows in. Um, so if somebody wants one modded, I might have another one coming too. I actually have... I actually have an Arrow 401. It's also a set neck or neck through, but with the Floyd Rose and two humbuckers. So this is one that one day I'll eventually rebuild for myself. This thing is super dope. It's actually what influenced the Jackson JSX-94 I did, the blue with the white pickup. I saw this pickup ring and I was like, ooh, gotta get that white pickup ring on that guitar too. So if you want it, links down in the description. Now let's go on to guitar number three. All right, now this one is the one out of these ones that I've been considering keeping. It's been here for a few weeks now. This is a 1992 Jackson Fusion HH. And man, when this thing came in, it wasn't actually strung up. The couple of the strings had popped out of the trim and it wasn't set up to play. But today for the first time, I restrung it with some 942s. It automatically set up right where it wanted to, right where it should. And the action is incredible on this guitar. I'm talking all the time about these made in Japan Jackson. You can see that classic made in Japan sticker right there on the back, right behind the 17th fret. And yeah, I could tell by touching the neck, it felt thin, it felt nice, but after I strung this thing up, it, it has some unbelievable action. The neck feels so flat, the frets feel so good, I'm, I'm pretty sure everything on this guitar is original. So down to the screws, every single thing, there's a couple little scratches on it here and there. If you look, it, it's really clean for the condition, for, or for its age I should say. It's got this nice, I'm not sure what Jackson model bridge that is, but it kind of resembles the Goto bridges got the two humbuckers it's got a binding on the neck which you don't see on a lot of these 90s jacksons a lot of them just had the standard rosewood fretboards but this one's actually got the sweet aged binding too which is becoming like a yellow color yeah it's got the volume selector switch tone it has the original jackson tuners of course the logo itself is starting to age it's starting to yellow out a little bit 1992 serial number there on the back it's a beaut. It's a beaut. When I played it today, it made me think like, oh man, maybe I'm making a mistake selling this because it's an original shape Jackson with the case. So let me show you what else it comes with. Of course, it comes with the trim bar. It's chrome. I'm not sure if that was original or not, but um, the case latches have broken. So you could see here, one, two, and three all snapped off the bottom, but the top pieces are all still there. So me or somebody else could restore it if you want that done you know we'll talk about that if you want to buy this guitar i'll do it for free i'll relocate them because i still have two of these so i could relocate the two end ones and get this case closing again when it came in only one was working and then while i've had it in my possession another one has actually stopped working another thing that's really cool that this comes with is the original jackson professional warranty and registration card so this is from 1992 or so and charvel guitar company down there jackson limited one year warranty it was never filled out but how cool is that that it comes with that so to me the original case 
some of the original paperwork. That makes this guitar even more cool to me. Yeah, let's just admire this thing. 1992. So this thing is 30 years old. This thing was just too beautiful. I couldn't mod it up. I couldn't repaint it with the crackle paint job or throw a kill switch in it because it's just too much. It's too beautiful. And to be honest, I don't really play too many bolt-on guitars anymore. I prefer neck throughs. I've got a neck. I've got a couple Jacksons. Uh, I've got a bolt-on dinky from the early '90s already, which I love. So gotta let this one go. I can't just hoard guitars. I've already got like 20 of them. <laughs> yeah, this thing's a beauty. Too nice to mod, in my opinion. I want this to go to some collector who will maybe put his little personal touch on it, but for the most part, keep it original. That being said, if you want it, and you are crazy enough to want me to redo anything to it, repaint it, upgrade it, I'll, I'll do it. Alright guys, we got one more guitar to show you. And it's one of my all-time favorite models ever. It's an LTD MH-1000. Wow. Look at this quilted top. It looks like you're staring into water. Um, I own three or four MH-1000s in my personal collection. This was a trade-in from someone who brought me the Arctic Arrow as well. So in, I think season six, you'll probably see more of the story. And you're going to see what guitar I made for, or I will be making for this guy. But man, this thing is dope. So it's got modified pickups. These are the John Petrucci Illuminator set. The 257 and DP-256. And Master Volume, Master Tone. This model is a string through model, black chrome hardware. And yeah, it is just a beaut. Look at that headstock. I love it. If it had a Floyd, I'd probably have to keep it. I have an MH400 in this same kind of blue, but I don't have a blue MH1000 myself. So if this, like I said, made in Korea, it's got locking black chrome LTD branded tuners. Yeah, if it was a Floyd one, it would not be going anywhere. But I don't really play string throughs too much. Probably the same thing for that arrow over there. If that had a Floyd, I'd have a much harder time letting it go. This guitar is in pretty amazing condition. No chips or major dings or any dings, really. Um, looking it over. It plays amazing. Obviously, great heat, neck heel on these. These are my favorite feeling neck heel maybe of any guitar. I've got a couple in my personal collection, like I said, and they just, they feel so good when you get up there. I have a couple Edwards guitars that are, they rival it. They might be a little better, or maybe this is a little better, but my, one of my favorite neck joints of all time right there. Clean, look at the back is even clean. Oh, there is like a little scratch here. I was going to say, it looks like it's, uh, yeah, we got some uh, buckle rash right there. So a little bit of wear, but no chips, nothing major. This thing is clean. So if this is something in your wheelhouse, something you'd be interested in, all these guitars are going to be available right now at guitarguts.com at the time of this video starting, actually. So if you want one of them, get over there now. Um, and if you want to buy one and you can't pay all at once, we can set up payment plans. So send me an email as quick as you can, mark at guitarguts.com. I'll be watching my emails and... If no one snagged it off the website, I'll, I'll take payments for some of these too. So it would have to be something like 50% down. We'll have to work out like um, some type of terms. Obviously no interest, none of that kind of crap. But yeah, we'll figure it out. So send me an email, mark at guitarguts.com. Or if you could pay all at once, just go straight to guitarguts.com. Guitars for sale link. All of this will be listed directly in the description of this video. And I appreciate you guys watching. Trash to Thrash will return next week. Got two sick EVH guitars coming through. So um, I've actually been showing them a little bit in the backgrounds of some of my videos. And yeah, people are starting to figure out what they are. So appreciate you guys watching. I will see you soon. Rock on, my friends.